morning, ladies and gentlemen. How are you? Hi, Carol. Hi. We're all packed up, uh, ready to go on another long day adventure here in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. And uh, we just finished doing all the postcards. But uh, today we're going to go and look at the um, museums and other things. So we'll take you along and we'll try to get to Poutineville sometime today. Hey Siri, where's the closest Tim Hortons? Getting directions to Tim Hortons. All right, let's go. Hello, uh, can I get the uh, breakfast biscuits sausage meal? Uh, large. Uh, unfortunately, uh, we don't have the eggs at this moment. No we eggs at all? Uh, at this moment, we just sold out. Oh, okay. okay. Great. She's looking for I'm more? Sorry, you do a YouTube video? Yes. <laughs> yeah, for the. I watch you every night. I'm oh, thanks, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> we have eggs. Yay! Yeah, have eggs. I'll have the uh, English muffin bacon. Uh, English muffin bacon? Yeah. With a hash brown. With a hash brown. Ate our breakfast just down the road there, because it was where we bought our Tim Hortons was a gas station, so we couldn't eat there. And uh, but now it is pouring rain. We literally just made it inside before it started coming down that hard. So I think this stands for chocolate hot hot chocolate. Is this backwards for French? Just kidding. <laughs> Go Canadians. So Lucien, that's where we are. Just successfully navigated this machine. <laughs> There was an English option, which is great. You press that. Uh, we did two day passes, and it's uh, $10 per person. So we can technically go anywhere uh, for $10. Uh, yesterday's Uber cost $12, and that was just from that location to our hotel. Let's scan or put it in. Well, that's what it says. It says that. Don't do that. So it says that. Oh, on top. There you go. Carol made it through with the camera. She didn't want to have to leave her behind. It'll take us at least up this way. We don't know exactly where we want to go yet. Got off at Place de Arms. Now we're gonna see if we can get up to the surface and then take a bus over to the art museum. After looking at the map again, we realized it's probably easier to just go back where we kind of came from and then take a bus north up to uh, where we need to go because getting on a bus here will take longer. Just noticed that uh, this train rides on a track and also on wheels. Probably give you a smoother ride or something. But it's not just like a roller coaster. You got like a wheel on its side and then that kind of wheel. That is very cool. So we're kind of back where we started from, but as you can see, there is like blue sky, no clouds, which is good. The main reason we went to the underground was because it was raining. All right, so now we're just going over to a bus, then we'll take the bus north and uh, go to a museum. Hopefully it's nice and air conditioned in there because it is crazy hot and muggy right now. 
Would you agree? I would agree. Tired Carol. <laughs> Museum of Fine Arts, the Montreal. And it looks like Picasso's here. Well, at least his work. Let's go check it out. So it's $15 per adult to get in. And uh, you actually go through the underground underneath the street to those two old buildings on the other side. Got to check out some of this art. Made out of rusty nails. And so ends our little tour of the Museum of Art. So now it's off to another Montreal staple, Poutineville. Bonjour. There you go. Got it. Poutineville, it's right there. We're gonna go and order some poutine, eat up, and then we're gonna get back to the hotel, get our bags and stuff. So this is another food review just for you. Because when people found out I was coming to Montreal, they said you gotta go to Poutineville. And when I got here, I asked the lady what would be a really good thing to do, and she said their Poutineville house special, and it's hand crushed potatoes, fresh cheese curds, and you only get amazing cheese curds from Quebec, so you know that's a win. 
and mozzarella, braised beef, and red wine sauce. You can also build your own poutine from scratch. They've got the English side, they've got the French side, uh, they've got I don't know how many specialty poutines you can just pick for if you don't want to build your own. Uh, and apparently, and they've got this thing here, the largest poutine in town, and it is 15 pounds. And it's called the Heart Attack. It's a hundred dollars. So if any of you crazy people out there want to do a, a challenge, that would definitely be the biggest challenge probably around these parts. So I'm gonna just put this there so that doesn't blow away. Uh, I also ordered a Pilsner. She recommended a couple other beers, but the Pilsner sounded like the best one for me. Let's do a, a close up. Let's hope that camera focuses for you. Check that out. Just finished videotaping the Poutineville video for the big channel on KBD Plexus TV. Hope you guys check it out. It was, it was a lot of fun to videotape. Carol had, this is the, this is the cool thing about you guys watching the vlogs. Carol had uh, the burger and said it was an amazing burger. It was. And, and one of the things that I don't think Carol noticed on the menu, all, I think all their burgers are double patty. So Carol was the one she saw it. I didn't order double patty. Well, that's the way they come. Apparently their burgers are amazing. And Carol's classic. Carol did the classic. Does it say double patty on it? Carol doesn't have glasses on. She keeps coming out to all these things and doesn't bring glasses. So when you come to Poutineville, if you don't want a big burger, maybe chances are if you ask them to take one of the, the burgers up, ask them to put it on the side and take it home for tomorrow's lunch. Put it on a piece of bread. Unless you're traveling yeah. on the train. That's right. Don't have any refrigerator. That's right. If you're traveling on a train, you need some food. Munchies on the way home. So right now we're just going to pay for the bill, and then we got to get out of here. Uh, go back to the hotel, get our stuff, get to the train, and then sleep all the way home. Made it down to one of the streets. I'm not sure what street we're on. But now we've got to jump on the metro and that'll get us pretty close to our hotel. As you can see, we were back at the Sheridan, made it safe and sound. Grabbed the bags, and now we just have a short little truck over to the train station, and then we'll be on our way. I think I'm gonna sleep all the way home. Yes. Bye bye, Montreal. Bon voyage. Oh, air conditioner's back on. That's a good sign. Safe and sound. Um, I 
discovered that their Wi-Fi will not support any streaming platforms. They can't use or watch YouTube, um, Netflix, or anything like that. So if you wanted to bring your own movies, that's a huge recommendation. Uh, if you're thinking that you're going to watch Netflix or whatever on a via train, no, it's not, not going to happen. They actually tell you when you first link up to it that you can't, but it's good to know before you actually buy your ticket to uh, bring a bunch of movies like Carol did. She was smart. I wasn't. Um, <laughs> so I uh, went on to Instagram and asked the question. Hey, I'm bored. Ask me a question. I'll answer it. I think we uh, had 75 or more, 75 or more questions, which was great. I enjoyed answering all the questions. But uh, now we gotta get home, go to bed, wake up, and tomorrow you'll get to get a rundown of the whole three day holiday just for you guys. All right, talk to you guys tomorrow.